you know what? Today, I don't care about the drilling, okay? I don't care. You have no idea how long I've waited for this. I'll literally give you guys some background information as to why, why I've been waiting for this long. Okay, so let's say, I don't remember years, but I know during my seventh grade, I was super, 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 super obsessed with 2 p.m. Like obsessed to like, mm. I didn't know anything about like albums, photo cards back then. Cause I was like, you know, I was literally the only girl in my school that stand 2 p.m. slash K-pop in general. I liked EXO and 2 p.m. But mm, 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 mm. 2 p.m. was like number one always for me. I've been obsessed since the seventh grade. And I stopped standing K-pop because everyone was going to army. Also because my friends didn't like me for it. But yeah, anyways, besides that, like I've been obsessed with them for too freaking long of them. And if you know anything about 2PM albums, they never do photo cards. The only photo cards I've seen was during Gentleman's Game. And it was literally like one for limited and one for not limited. And I am not a big like collector of like any of those, like any of the like bigger album inclusions. So this comeback, means a lot to me and this is gonna be my number one priority for everything. I don't care about all the other third gen, fourth gen groups right now. 2pm is gonna be my number one priority. I need to finish this set. I don't care what it takes. I bet this is okay. 2pm is literally gonna be the only exception that I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna enter as many fan signs. <laughs> I don't care. I want to get, I want to see them. I want to tell them how much I love them. Okay, fun fact, my bias is Nikun and Taekyun, so <laughs> you gotta bear with me. I know I literally picked like, yeah, no, Nikun has always been my bias. Like, like technically he's my first ever bias, so anything for this man, anything for this man. And then Taekyun like came later on during my obsession because I was like, you know what, I love this guy. <laughs> I love this man. I love this man. I love both men. But I was gonna collect OT6. But when I literally, I cried. I cried last night. I cried. I was like, 2PM is finally having a comeback. I cried. I was like, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I, I'm going all out for this one. I don't care. I, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I made fun of like third gen, fourth gen, like K-pop groups. Not really made fun of. I was like not interested. I just love 2PM that much, but then obviously I got into GOT7, found out they were in the same company, so I was like, okay, you know what, JYP Entertainment represent, and then I started liking other groups, and I love other groups now, but back then, not really, <laughs> so I, <laughs> this means too much to me. Yeah, this, this is going to be interesting because there are two versions, I'm pretty sure, A version and B version, there's going to be two photo books. Um, obviously two CDs, but then this is the most hectic part. See, this is why I decided not to collect OT6 and to just collect Tekken and Nikken because holy, holy, yeah, no, mm -mm. And also the thing is that there's not a lot of people that like to buy or trade for 2 p.m. and I understand completely. Like people, I, people like 2 p.m. but like, like I said, there's no photo cards for like their previous albums. Like mostly like they have so much stuff for the like Japanese releases, but they never have anything for their Korean releases. And like a lot of people only like to collect Korean releases. So totally understandable. Also cause like the photo cards are not that cute. So I'm like, okay, I understand. But if people are collecting 2 p.m. and they would love to trade with me or like sell any of the photo cards, I don't care. I'm going all out. <laughs> this is like the one time where I'm really gonna make that exception. Like other groups, I've been so cautious, but like this one, I don't, I, I gotta work, I gotta work, man. I, got, I gotta find work, <laughs> I gotta find work because this, this is not helping my like wallet for me. You know what? I don't mind if I like just take a break from all the other groups and just focus on them. I've been waiting for too long, man. I've been waiting for too long. I've been waiting since like literally 2016, which is their last release. But yeah, I just, 
<sighs> okay, so there is, I'm pretty sure 10 units, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You know what? I'm assuming that's 10 because this is five. So it's five, five. If it's not, well, rip. Um, so there's <laughs> a lot of units. So, and this is random two out of 45, right? So I'm assuming that what's gonna happen is that they're gonna give one member plus one unit per album. If it's random and I get two units and I don't care, I don't care, I wanna keep the units or I wanna keep the units that um, Nikun and Tekken are in at least. So I'm not gonna prioritize units for now. I'm gonna prioritize Nikun and Tekken. So there's um, five each. So that makes it 10, why can't I count? Okay, there's a double-sided mini poster. There's a TMI paper, that is, that is cute. I don't know what a challenge card is. Interesting, this is an interesting concept, JYP. Um, I honestly don't know, but yeah. So this is gonna be everything for the regular album, but the pre-order itself comes with different things, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you get two posters, well, one poster per version, and then there's a folding photo card, which I don't understand. 210 by 148, that is not a photo card. That looks like a bookmark to me, buddy. Um, or I'm pretty sure that might fit in, huh, how would that fit? 210 by 14.8, that's gonna be like, let's say 21 centimeters by 14.8 centimeters. So that is equivalent to two pocket, I'm assuming. We'll see, we'll see. I'll have to do the math later and figure that out. This is the peace photo card. Now, this is very, 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 very similar to what GOT7 did for 747. So I'm assuming these are the triangle cards and they will most likely fit in the four pocket. And I'm gonna collect Nikun and Tekken for this. I honestly don't know what to do with the trading world because I don't know if a lot of people collect 2PM. Um, if you stumble upon this video and you collect 2PM and would like like to trade or sell and stuff like that, like just hit me up in my DMs because like I'm so nervous because I really don't know anybody who wants to collect 2PM. So yeah, but you have no idea. I, I love 2PM too much. I am not, I'm not giving up. I will literally go on Mercari if I have to. I don't care. <laughs> so that's that's that. Um, that's pretty much it for setting up my binder. So I'm pretty sure if I'm gonna get, one, I'm buying two albums for pre-order and then the rest I'm gonna try and hold group orders for um, fan signs, if they do fan signs. If not, then I will literally just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. I'm probably gonna buy the photo cards. Um, if not, then I really don't know what to do. Like my, this is, this is so, this was so random. This is out of nowhere. So that's why I feel so chaotic about this entire thing, but I'm too excited to collect 2 p.m. And the must album, I'm, I'm gonna cry again. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, anyways, so, since that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the binder. I'm putting them in boy zolts, mainly because this this binder is so small. Plus, yeah, they're considered my boy zolts, so I don't care. <laughs> Anyways, so I did make these. <laughs> uh, I find this so funny. <laughs> Um, I am gonna buy from Sinara, so hopefully there's gonna be something pre-order related, but I hope it's photo cards and not something like random. Oh, you know what? I didn't actually grab another sleeve for that. Oh, sorry, earthquake. Why does that happen so often? Yeah, okay, so I did make these pages. I'm gonna go put them in. I'm so excited to start this. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this day for too long. Should I put them on top? I'll put them on top. I love them too much, okay. So this one goes here. I don't have extra of these, do I? If I do, then I'll probably do that. Oh, you know what? I have to flip this the other way around because I did reorganize my binder in a different way, so. Okay, so I got these sleeves, nine pocket sleeves. I am preparing just in case if I do collect the unit for Nikun and Tekken. So I did find out that there are 15 
uh, unit, 15 photo cards uh, for the unit. That's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. I'm not gonna lie. That is a lie. I'm. I feel so sorry to anyone who's collecting OT6 because that's gonna be crazy fun. But yeah. Okay. And I do have these white sleeves. Um, I'm probably gonna make filler for these once the photo card previews come out and stuff like that. So, or once I see the photo cards. So yeah, I'm gonna do a five pattern for this one because it's five per member. One, two, three, four, five. So then. These four, I'm gonna go put here. Too excited for this comeback. I literally cried last night when I found out about it. And why did they have to drop the bomb like that? Especially like right after the the twice teaser. Like JYP, what are you doing to me? I, I can't. Oh my God. I'm freaking out. I've been waiting for this day. It's been too long. It's been literally too long i'm so excited because i i seriously thought they were not going to have a comeback because um i saw some articles like tech End saying like honestly we don't know when we're having a comeback and stuff like that because the company's not telling us when and stuff like that and also tech End's not in jyp anymore but he is going to be doing a lot of the 2 p.m promotions so i'm really happy about that um because now that they're having a comeback, it's official that like, you know, he's a part of it. Because I was so worried at first that he was not going to be a part of anything like 2 p.m. related. And I, you have no idea. I was going to, I was going to cry when I, when I heard about that. Yeah. So like also a fun story. My friend Nat actually like reintroduced me to K-pop again. And I liked like, what was it? I like Stray Kids. So like Stray Kids was technically the first group I started liking again from K-pop because I was like, this group really is something else. Then I found out about GOT7 and then like, you know, my world turned upside down. So yeah, okay. That is that for the photo cards. I'm gonna go ahead and open the bigger album inclusions because I am most likely gonna collect all the bigger album inclusions for Nikun and Tech Yen, So we'll see what happens. Okay. So <laughs> I did run out of these bigger two pockets. So I'm gonna have to order more. That, that is scary. Um, <laughs> Cause AT's stuff is so big. Most likely for like the other groups, I just put, will put them in an accordion file here. So I'm pretty sure the challenge cards will fit in here. If they don't, rip my life. <laughs> um, Cause I literally ran out of two pockets. So I'm most likely just using one pocket for those. And then I'm confused. Okay, so I know for a fact that the mini, what do you call it? The mini poster will fit this for sure. But when I saw the folding photo cards, I kept thinking if it would fit in this or if it would fit in a smaller one pocket. But for now, I'm just gonna put this here for Nikun and Tekken. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to do to set up my binder for 2 p.m.'s comeback. My dumb butt forgot the triangle card. <laughs> okay, to be honest, I might just collect OG6 for the triangle cards. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to do anymore. If I'm gonna buy a lot of albums, I might as well anyways, so yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this somewhat entertaining and that like, if you're a 2 p.m. collector, you're not alone. I'm here. I also collect 2 p.m. So yeah, well, I I don't collect, I mean, I wanna collect for this comeback because gentleman's game, I can't find a single photo card for Nikun and Tekken anywhere. So, but if you're selling those, do let me know. <laughs> I might buy it. So yeah, for a reasonable price, please. <laughs> okay. But yeah, thank you so much again for watching my video and I hope you have a good day. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>